Thank you. I'm about to say, seems like some something big this way comes. He's a walking guy. He walks and I shoot the stuff at him and then I am supposed to evade, but I forgot the evade button because I'm like that. Oh, he is so slow. Can I use the uh, whatever? That's pretty cool. And it slows down time when you use it, huh? Look at me. Speaking of Dante's Inferno, maybe it's time for me to play a uh, Devil May Cry game at some point, huh? No lock-on buttons for this game, by the way. Better just to shoot Beatrice's cross at him. Here we go. Here we go. What buttons do you need me to push, buddy? X. What else? Y. B. Okay. Why do I want to run a beast when I'm awesome all by myself? Whatever. Uh, man, I love these... Uh, see, every now and then I decide I want to play God of War. You know what I'm saying? And it's a trip because there's so many God of War clones that I could just play a God of War clone that does exactly the same thing but with a different story. Which, you know, people used to talk about like it's a bad thing, but... I don't know, if you like God of War, and they only come out with one every four or five years, why not? You can play the PSP games once they're remastered and stuff, how about that, you know? Anyway, um... X to pound fist, Y to stomp. I mean... B to, see, I'm gonna use that B re-fire stuff, though, for real. Ooh, you didn't use. You could dispatch of these men very quickly. Now what? My, I can eat them. That's fun. I eat the demons. That sucks, though. You eat a demon, you, you'd want to, like, actually taste the demon, like, like Attack on Titan, you know what I'm saying? But once you take a bite into the demons, they disappear. See, look. Gone. Ah, this is less... This is less fun than just whooping their asses, you know what I'm saying. Stomp was why, right? Well, okay, I guess I use the beast.
I have to say, oh, abandon all hope. Yeah. Ye who enter. Of course. Um, I gotta say, I, um, kind of get into these games that, that are all, you know, surrounded in mythology and, um, well, I guess the Bible? This story is, is pretty much of a super devout Christian that found a way to be some sort of savage killer, so... <laughs> Not at all like the movie with Spider-Man or the Spider-Man actor who doesn't want to doesn't want to shoot anybody in war, but he saves people, you know. Yeah, that's good. Damn the climb. Move that in any direction. Press A to jump and RB to slide. Fair enough. How about I do this? Oh sweet. No, we're just gonna be basically going down because hell. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, yeah, for those of you who don't know the hold on. Sorry, those are people falling out of that that uh, thing's mouth. <laughs> Dante's Inferno is about a uh, man whose woman gets taken this woman gets taken by the devil and he goes through the seven layers of hell to get his woman back um yeah he seems to not know why he got taken he is a devout Christian obviously since the opening sequence was him sewing the cross onto his body with a tapestry of things that he has done in his past, which I thought was a very weird take on it. You know, Dante's Inferno is an actual book, and uh, EA just, I guess they bought the rights to the book? How does that even work? Into the blind world we have now descended. Put all fear and cowardice aside. We have come to the cliffs above Acheron. Wretched souls walk this tortured path to board Karen's vessel. Karen is spelled wrong. Anyway. I don't know what these things are, but I'll take it. Oh, I have found a silver Judas coin. Yeah, please give me more information. 30 pieces of silver. Collect silver Judas coins to unlock souls. Collect all Beatrice stones to unlock the ability to auto-absolve the damned? What? You mean I don't have to, um, I don't have to, like, choose to do it? I can just auto-absolve it? That sounds pretty good. Alright then. Sounds like something to look forward to. Or look around the forward or whatever. Dude, you didn't, you didn't, uh... <laughs> you didn't stick the dismount on that one. You just kind of fell. Are they compelled to enter? Is a zombie thing? Yeah, I do need some of this magic. Anything else going on here? Nope. Oh, good. I thought that I was going to have to do a button pushing, button mashing sequence to pull levers. You guys again. So I want to shoot those guys, but it's a lot easier. Oops, it's a lot easier to um. I gotta remember my black button too. A lot easier to jump up there and whoop their butts. Probably should do that first. There we go. 
Power of Christ, son. Dude, I wonder if... I wonder if Beatrice's uh, virginity or whatever, her, her purity works outside of hell. Maybe she can shoot crosses from her crotch or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, the stories from Christianity are so easy to make fun of. They're, uh... Once you get to be a certain age and understand all the, uh, screw-ups that men make, because, let's be real, there's only a few women that screw up. The way the Bible portrays women, they're, they're basically the support roles. These, uh, roles don't quite work the same way in today's, you know, uh, today's world, I guess. Why do they keep coming this way? Look, I guess I'm supposed to... It sucks because you don't get any credit for them. Let me push RB. Let me see what this, oh, let me see what the super move stuff is. Oh, it just turned me on fire, great. Whatever. I understand now. Come on. Come on. I don't care about you guys. I'm trying to get over. Now you die. Homie. Man. None of the bad guys give you any energy. That is a very interesting thing to note. I ran through about 50 of them. I didn't get any energy back. They just give you experience. Which doesn't help me. Okay. Now I gotta fight a guy with no energy. Which means, obviously, I'm just gonna throw shit at him. Hoping, hoping he doesn't have the moves it takes to uh, transverse a lot of area and he just walks at you slowly. Because in order to throw Beatrice's virginity around, you have to take a step forward for some reason. How'd it work? Go like this and go like this. There we go. Yeah, absolve this manahaka. Okay, I didn't absolve him. Absolve. Oh, brother. Still didn't get any credit. Okay. It's gonna be difficult. get to be absolved. Uh, I have no magic. This dodge comes in handy though, I tell you that much. Yeah, let's absolve him this time. Oh, come on, bruh. Okay, that was neat. <sighs> Dude, this game is a stingy with energy. I'm only playing on normal. Are we supposed to be going down? Hmm? Huh? Am I supposed to break this object? I'll take that though, that seems like it'll help. Alright. Well, these uh, silver Judas coins come in handy, man.
there anything on the other side I need to know about? Because that was kind of helpful. Right over here. Nah. All right. When do I get? Oh, there's some energy over there. You guys, man. All souls that die from every nation collect here as one. Karen's rough crossing awaits those who did not fear the Lord. Wow. So for all you, uh, those things were there for no reason. Nice. Oh, I see. That's what happens. You throw Beatrice's uh, thing in there, and then she's like, "Here you go." So, for all of those of you who are atheists out there, here you go. It's what awaits you. You know, it's probably better for you to believe in the Lord. You know, just in case. Just you don't. You know, you don't believe in the Lord. That's fine. But just go ahead and just, you know, what what do you have to lose? It's like Trump says, you know. You already know it's going to be being an atheist. If you aren't an atheist and you believe in God and atheism is the true thing, there's no punishment. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in God and God wasn't real. Or, or yeah. No, wait. Yeah. If you believe in God and God wasn't real, and then you lose, what happens? You die and you become a tree? Juggle. Oh, this guy. And these people. That looked kind of serious. Good thing he's so slow. Oh, really? Really, son? I want to aim at the bird. Thank you. Oh, he counted my shit, man. Let's punish him this time, see what happens. Smooth decapitation. Alright, we're gonna have to pick where we're gonna go with this. Um... It seems that slicing people up is fun, but so far I've had to use a lot of my holy skills to, to, um, uh-oh. Sorry about that. It seems that I'm having to use a lot of my holy and evasive maneuvers just because my uh, swings don't pull, push anybody back, but the holy moves actually do push people back. Uh, for for the um and and they kind of come at you with hordes and trap you in areas. So in order to to uh kill people, you have to do a lot of keep away techniques. You know, especially if you have to condemn or absolve or whatever people in order to get get uh more power or whatever. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna be juicing up my holy. Just, you know, on some keep away type shit. Because I've basically beat every bad guy in this game by throwing shit at him and dodging. As opposed to um, <laughs> chopping them up. Even though chopping them up is a little bit more fun. They seem to they seem to be undaunted by the fact that I have the scythe of death, the cosmic entity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't seem to give a shit that I'm slicing people up with death side.
Death Scythe. Anyway. So, building up holy it is. Maybe someday one of these uh, things strewn around will actually be worth something. Oh, that one was actually worth something. What shall I do with this false design? I don't know, man. I find no fault with this man. Messiah, forgive me! Pontius Pilate? His cowardice contributed to the suffering of one for, for the sins of many, and he now bears the weight of all in limbo. Messiah, forgive me! I mean, we're talking about Pontius Pilate, the one who crucified Jesus, who was righteous, before, and he traded him for a thief and a murderer just because everybody hated Jesus who did nothing wrong, right? I condemned a virtuous man to the cross. But he did save everybody. Let's go ahead and absolve. It's not like he knew it. Let's punish this dude. That is so weird. I mean, he is Pontius Pilate. He didn't know he was helping humanity, but still, he's kind of a jerk. Um, why did you send me over here? There's, there's no actual... How many souls do I have? Oh. Uh, 2,000. But I would rather get my holy stuff for 2,000. I mean, it only costs 1,000 souls for that. Um, That's good enough. Uh, What's over here? 1,500. I'll come back. Hadouken! Oh, Hadouken! Alright. That's good enough. Yeah, even opening the door causes you to kill somebody. <laughs> By all that is holy, I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know you will be faithful to our love. <laughs> you should have been true to this sweet young thing. <laughs> Instead, it's me who gets to cry. Wait, Let what? her go. She's innocent. Not for long. I belong to him now. You've only yourself to blame, holy warrior. You don't deserve such a faithful and pious young lady. <laughs> All right, let's go. This butt down. I guess I should kill the big guy first, then, huh? So that's a priority, just in case a new big guy comes up like that. Dude, I can launch big guys into the sky as well. Whoop. 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 A 
absolves. Take this cross down your throat. See, you know, they don't quite. Here we go. Oh, you mean the super move is punish. What the? Okay. Wasn't ready for that. Sir, but uh, you have the wrong ticket. The way to hell is this way. <laughs> okay, I'm corny as shit. I'm sorry. Uh, you have earned the holy level one. New abilities are now unlocked at this level. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not getting souls as fast as I am getting, you know, levels. But all right, the sure. sure. Um, diabolic rupture. If I push Y twice in the air, I do a fierce attack and finishing move. And by finishing move, it looks like you're not really finishing anyone. You're just hitting them really hard on the second swing. What does this say? Hold X to quickly dash backwards and then forward with a sweeping attack. That might be helpful. Hmm. 